And the one image I would like to say, all these thank yous, if you think of 75 years, what you think of is there's literally, as Brother David said, 25,000 young people who went through our Glen Mary farm. There is literally thousands upon thousands upon thousands. And if you use the image of when did I see you naked and hungry or thirsty and abandoned, there's many people out here who cannot say thanks to each of you for what you've done for us. On their behalf, for all those who have supported the Glen Mary Home Missioners, for the poor, neglected, for the small, the forsaken, in their voice, we thank you. From the bottom of our hearts, because it is those who have touched our lives. You know, given the reason for celebrating tonight, we can con continue that celebration tomorrow and thank God for the gift that Glen Mary Home Missioners is for all of us and for our nation. I also want to refer to the last page of the program because um, Bishop Strickland referred to the, the picture on the inside front cover. Father Dan report re, uh, mentioned to us the, uh, the Shutterfly um, clue as far as how to get to that. But on the back cover, I think there's something, there's two very powerful things. And so when you go home tonight, get your scissors out, cut these two things out and hang them on your refrigerator. Okay, the two things are the picture, number one, the picture where that young man is being baptized. I baptized a little girl this afternoon at St. Louis Church in downtown Cincinnati where I live. She's the, the daughter of a couple whose wedding I was blessed to be a part of four years ago. She's a cute little girl who cried when I poured water on her head. It's always a good thing when they cry when, they put, when I pour water on their head because that's what I did when I was baptized when I was 12 days old, according to those who have shared that story with me on a number of occasions. So that's the one thing because on the day that we're baptized, that's when we have a chance to become these missionaries for Christ. As we've heard this evening, that's the mission of what Glen Mary is all about. Then secondly, so, so cut along, you know, there won't be any grade on this. Just cut that picture out and hang it on your refrigerator. And then with the scissors still in your hand, just cut out those words, thank you. Thank you. At the bottom of that, of that sheet, because we're here tonight and we've heard it said a number of times to say thanks to those who support Glen Mary, thanks for Glen Mary for what they do, but most important to thank the good Lord above for giving us the gift of faith that brings us all here this evening. And it, that gift of faith that we have the opportunity each day to go with and to share with the world because, as we know, people still need to know that Jesus Christ is Lord and King. And he's the one who brings us here this evening. And he's the one who continually walks with us each and every day of our lives. And so if we can pause and pray a final prayer to wrap up this evening. Good and gracious God, we say thank you for all of your blessings, especially for the blessing of Glen Mary, that, whose mission we have a chance to join in this evening and we have a chance to celebrate. And good and gracious God, thanks for all the gifts you give us, for the people who love us, for the people we have a chance to love in return, and for the opportunity to know, love, and serve you in this world. And may we go forth, Lord, with the vision and the courage and the opportunity that you give us, and make the most of that, to take the gospel message of Jesus Christ and go announce that to everyone in the world. And we thank you, Lord. We thank you for this night. We thank you again for all of our blessings. And we pray these and all things through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go, announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you.